Good Friday morning, church family. We're glad you're with us today. Happy New, New year, year to you. 20, Pastor, happy New Year happy to you. Happy New Year 2024. It's going to be a great year for First it Baptist is, Church. Last great. year was amazing, but this year is going to be incredible That's too. Right. I'm anxious to see what the Lord has I in store too. for 2024. I am too. So let's get ready for it. Let's talk about what's coming. Uh, Sunday's always in front of us, so mm -hmm. we'll talk about Sunday. Our Connect groups are back this week. We're excited mm -hmm. for our Connect groups to be back. I know a lot of those Connect classes are excited to be That's back right. together no doubt. Uh, to start the year. So that starts at 9 a.m. If you've not been connected, this is a great time to get connected. Uh, start the year off right and uh, get connected this week. Just come a little bit early, come a little before 9, come right to the steeple entrance, right to the Connection Center, and they'll get you connected to a small group Bible study. We believe in those firmly. Immediately following that 9 a.m. Connect hour is our 10.30 a.m. worship service, and we're kicking off the year with a new series. New, series. new year, a new series that's entitled Deeper. Mm. Uh, the Lord's given me that word, and it's a word dear in my heart. I don't want to be shallow with Him, yeah. and I don't want to just be on the surface. I want to go deep with Him, and that's what we want for you as well. As we think about our vision statement about worship God, love people, share Jesus, make disciples, we do those things because we want to go deeper with the Lord. So we hope you'll be a part of this sermon series uh, with us in person if you can. But this week we're going to be talking about practicing solitude from the life of David. It's a story you know, David and Goliath. I pray you'll read over that. Uh, but it's a, a process. How could David stand before Goliath? It's because of his solitude, his time with the Lord, that he was able to, he was deep with the Lord, and we want to do the same thing. So we hope you'll worship with us in person. By the way, church, thank you. Last year was an incredible year of giving. Thank you for your generosity. And let's kick things off in 2024 strong as well with generosity coming up this week. Those who worship with us online, you're going to be able to see an incredible message about the conversion of Saul from a former pastor pastor here at First Baptist Church, Dr. Roger Freeman. Just a dear brother in Christ. You all spoke so highly of his sermon. He loved being here. He was thrilled. And I pray you'll watch that online, share it with other people as well. It's a message that if the Lord can save Saul, John Mark, he can save anybody. Amen. And so thank the Lord for grace. I'm grateful we're saved as yes, well. So amen. praise the Lord for that. So we hope you'll worship with us online, literally from countries around the world. We say thank you. Also, as we think about making disciples, it's also connected to connect groups and the worship time is Bible reading. We yes. want you to be in God's Word. I want to be in God's Word, and we want you to be in God's Word. Our Bible plan is available. All you have to do is go to the landing page of our website. You'll be able to see it there. Uh, you can get a copy of that also here in person, so you can grab that when you come to church as well. That's all available at the Connect Center. Uh, and like Pastor said, we want to get deep in the Word together. Mm -hmm. And also this year, we have five major goals, and I won't go into all those on this Friday with you, but one of our goals coming up in 2024 is to have at least 5,000 gospel conversations. That seems a little overwhelming, but it's not as difficult as we think it is if we would just be intentional about it. We're going to have some training starting Wednesday night. Tony Lewis is going to lead a Connect D group for us. Jason Johnson is going to lead a D group on gospel conversation. How do you turn an everyday conversation into a gospel conversation? Uh, we want to help you do that so you can be a part of that. You can see more information about that online. But we're also going to have a visual display. It's going to be ping pong balls, yeah. all colors. I think there's going to be white ones, orange ones, blue ones and green ones right. that if you have a gospel conversation with somebody and that person receives Christ then we're going to use an orange ball for that you have a gospel conversation a person wants to follow Jesus in baptism there's a blue ping pong ball you share the gospel and the person knows Christ has been baptized biblically wants to be a part of the church we'll use a green ping pong ball for that and you say does that really work well this week uh, and, and from here it is on Tuesday and Wednesday of this week, I've already had two gospel conversations. One of them led to somebody joining the church and the other one's leading to a baptism Amen. decision. So it does work, but we want you to be a part of that. There's going to be a visual you're going to be able to see and you'll see the progress. You can see that to pray, but you can also see that to celebrate. So John Mark, I know you and your team worked on that visual. So thank you guys for doing oh, that. Well, that's a great initiative for our church uh, to continue to go deeper in the world. Word, but is. not only for us, so we're empowered to go out and share the gospel. It is. Others. Also, Joe, are coming up January 12th and 13th, this prayer conference with Dr. Kai Bowman. Dr. Bowman's a dear friend, the national strategist, prayer strategist for the Southern Baptist Convention. But how can people get more details about learning how to pray God's way? That's another thing you don't want to miss. You can mm -hmm. go to our website, fbct.org slash prayer, and you can sign up there. All the details are there. That's another thing you don't want to miss. Yeah. Something else coming up. It's uh, very unique. We do this every January. 
And it's a deacon ordination service. That's going to be on Sunday night, January 21st, 5 p.m. in the Grace Worship Center. Here's the exciting part. We're going to ordain six men to the deacon Amen. ministry that Sunday night. These men are not running the church. They're not board members. They're servants. And they're serving Christ, and they're serving the church, and they're partnering with us. And so we want you to be a part of that ordination service. You'll hear testimonies. You're going to hear a biblical challenge to deacons. We'll get to see laying on of hands of these men. It's going to be an amazing service to support them and their families in the deacon ministry. But January 21st, 5 p.m. in the Grace Worship Center. And then something coming up on January 28th that's always dear to us is our First Steps class. First Steps, you want to be there if you're new to the church. If, if you're not new and you've been here for a little while and you've never been through that First Steps class, you want to sign up for that. You can go online as well, fbct.org slash first steps. Sign up there. That's immediately following worship on the 28th. We'll feed you lunch. Mm -hmm. You'll learn from Pastor Ronnie mm -hmm. who we are as a church, what we believe, and uh, you'll learn from every ministry leader in the church what our strategies are and how we want to reach people. It's a great, great class. We hope you'll be a part of that. And also on this Friday, first Sunday of the year is coming up this Sunday. I just I challenge you. Uh, if you can, be in person with us this mm. Sunday. Make a commitment this year to be in a connect group Amen. and be in the worship gathering with us. It'll change your life. There's something about gathering with God's people. I love the music. I love what we do in baptisms. I love preaching God's word, yeah. seeing people obey. I love seeing people fellowship together. So we just encourage you on this Friday. Sunday's coming and make a commitment to be in connect group, but also worship on Sunday and see God work in your life and the lives of other people. With John Mark on this Friday, here we are again, first yeah. Friday of the new year, joy to the world. Joy to the world. We're going to sing one more Christmas song <laughs> this year because Christ came That's to right. Bethlehem for us. That's the reason for our joy. So let's turn our hearts and minds now to Jesus, and we pray to see all of you on Sunday.
Sweet.